Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Uh, today's video it's uh, about how to trigger um, a coil and plug uh, coils that have an internal igniter or internal driver. The first thing we're going to do is uh, set up the uh, the coil uh, on our test bed, um, which is a metal base that comes with the zapper um, ignition coil tester. As you can see here, we have three wires, which is uh, these coils have usually a power, a ground, uh, and a trigger wire. And some of them have a um, a feedback back to the um, to the computer, so that it uh, pretty much tells the computer uh, the um, um, how the uh, the spark it's it's being affected. So here on screen, uh, it's a it's a very um, basic, uh, simplified uh, wiring diagram uh, for the coil connector. And uh, as you can see, you have the 12 volt uh, switch power if, you know for, from the ignition switch. You have a coil logic trigger, which is the one that gets the um, uh, the square wave that's coming from the. In this case, we're going to use the zapper uh, to be able to effect uh, that trigger um, a pulse. There is no other way to do it. If you try to do this with uh, by touching or jumping with a test light or something like that, it may you may spark it, but may be able to spark, but that's not going to tell you whether the coil is good or bad. So you have to have the proper uh, pulse at this the, the right dwell or the right pulse width and then the other two wires are the uh, the two grounds uh, one the uh, one ground is the main ground for the coil and the other one is the signal ground basically what we did uh, as you can see on screen is tied the two grounds together with their ground anyway so uh, they're tied together as you can see um, on screen uh, you can see the zapper already um, assembled and connected um, the zapper it's a unit that um, we um, actually di uh, uh, designed from the ground up to be able. It it does two things. It it it'll it'll trigger ignition coils directly uh, through a uh, very high current output, and it also uh, it it has the yellow output um, wire, uh, the trigger wire, to be able to trigger other coils. In other words, you can actually trigger uh, the coils with the, the internal igniter or the inter internal transistor. Just by, as you can see, by pushing a button, uh, we can get the coil uh, to trigger. Uh, we're going to go later on at the, at the end of the video into uh, the, the actual, as we always do, uh, the waveforms that actually trigger the coil. So again, you trigger these coils through the uh, igniter um, trigger um, input, um, which is only one, uh, one, one, one Y, and you use the output of the um, zapper to effect the right pulse. Uh, you could use anything you want. Uh, but this unit was made for that. But it, the, the, the important thing to remember is that you can't just touch, um, you know, the, this particular uh, terminal uh, with a test light and ju just to be able to trigger the to trigger the, the coil. It'll it'll zap. It'll it'll spark. Sometimes it won't even spark. But basically, you have to uh, be able to watch what you're doing, otherwise you burn the coil very easily. So this unit actually affects uh, the RP, the right RPM and the right dwell. And the trigger is done right through the um uh right through that particular terminal that one terminal that's uh, that is the input for the trigger most of these coils operate under two milliseconds so in other words you um, um the zapper it's variable from half a millisecond or 500 microseconds to two milliseconds which which is pretty much it, it'll cover 95 percent of uh of your situations uh, in real life Next, as you can see, we have a variable. We're showing you the uh, how to vary the uh, the dwell, and this is exactly what uh, what would be um, the coil would be receiving. And this is why it's so important to have the right trigger frequency and the right trigger dwell. Don't try to do this by manually touching again. We'll re re repeat that many times because a lot of you do it. This is not going to test anything. It's just going to damage the coil. So you know. This, you need the right frequency. You need the right dwell. So the frequency will be more akin to the uh, to the RPM, and the dwell will be uh, the the pulse width 
that the coil is going to receive. And it has to have it has to be fast enough because remember you have to uh, create and collapse that that the magnetic field um, in that coil to be able to produce the proper spark. The next uh, clip uh, we can show you how um, how to um, regulate the RPM, which is the same as a frequency, um, and um, while the uh, dwell stays steady. And if you watch, look at the waveform. Uh, basically, this is exactly what you're doing. You're just increasing the RPM at one specific uh, dwell or pulse width. Uh, this is how you actually stress the coil. Uh, we've done other videos on testing ignition coils, but this is the, the first one that we've ever done that, that deals with um, uh, testing uh, coils with internal igniters. Well, this has been a video uh, showing you how to test uh, uh, coil plug systems um, with internal igniters uh, using the Zapper uh, industrial uh, ignition coil tester. So um, thank you for being with us and, uh, and thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge. Learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.